Berries, debate takeaway number six. Leading Democrats had this to say after the debate. Former Senator Claire McCaskill of Missouri said, quote, Joe Biden had one thing to do tonight and he didn't do it. I'm not the only one whose heart is breaking right now. There's a lot of people who watch this tonight and feel terribly for Joe Biden, unquote. Kate Bedingfeld, Biden's own former White House communication director said, quote, look, it was a really disappointing debate performance from Joe Biden. I don't think there's another way to, to slice it, unquote. Julian Castro, former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development said, quote, Biden had a very low bar going into the debate and he failed to clear that bar, unquote. Maria Schreiber, the former First Lady of California said, quote, tonight was heartbreaking in many ways. This is a big political moment. There's panic in the Democrat party. It's going to be a long night, unquote. David Plouffe, former senior advisor to President Obama described the debate as, quote, a DEFCON 1 moment, unquote. Andrew Yang, 2020 presidential candidate on the Democrat ticket, called on Biden to step aside saying, quote, guys, the Dems should nominate someone else before it's too late, unquote. Nicholas Kristof, the left-wing Democrat diehard New York Times columnist suggested that Biden's debate performance could lead him to withdraw from the race and allow a younger contender to run. Quote, I wish Biden would reflect on this debate performance and then announce his decision to withdraw from the race, throwing the choice a Democrat nominee to the convention. Unquote. Democrat Senator Sherrod Brown of Ohio suggested a number of alternative candidates who could, quote, still jump in and beat Trump, unquote. Even CNN anchor Anderson Cooper noted that within the Democrat Party, there were many wondering whether Biden should step aside. Very left-wing MSNBC anchor Joy Reid reported on the Democrat response to Biden's debate performance as, quote, approaching panic. <laughs>